Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to change your screensaver on your desktop or laptop. Um, what you're going to want to start to do is go down here to your start menu, click on that. Then this little gear here, settings, click on settings. From there you're going to want to locate the personalization tab and click that. And as you can see my desktop background is black. It's also illustrated here. You can then change the color of your background to whatever you want. Or if you do not see the option you want here, you can simply go to custom color. And let's say I want a lime green. I can adjust the brightness or darkness of it. And if I minimize this, you can see I now have a solid lime green background. Now if you do not simply just want a color, what you can do is you can click here and go to picture. And what that'll do is you can choose some of the images that Windows has already preset on the computer or you can choose your own images. Now to find your own images what you're going to want to do is go to browse locate where you have your images selected or if you go down here to photos it should have all the photos on the computer here and select the image you want I'm gonna pick this image here and choose picture now if I minimize it you can see I now have that image however the word Oktoberfest in this image is cut off. Now if I really wanted that image to say that on my background, I would simply go back to settings and it's choose fit. Instead of picking fill, I would pick fit. And if I minimize it, you can still see Oktoberfest up here. Now the lime green and all, like I said before, you can simply change the color of the background and have it match your image if you'd like. Now let's say you don't have any images on your computer right now or you don't really want any of your own that you've taken. You can simply go to Google and look up your own. Now if we go to images, you can scroll through all the different images of dinosaurs on here. Um, I'm going to pick this image of a baryonyx here. And you're going to right click the image that you want and click save image as. Now I'm going to choose to save it on my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder on that desktop. And we're going to click on dinosaur images and save it into that folder. Now, if we minimize out of Google and go to Browse again, we can now click on Desktop where I save the image and click Dinosaur Images and there's our Dinosaur JPEG. And like I said before, you can choose to fit, fill, whatever. And if we minimize, you now see I have the dinosaur on my screensaver. There's one more setting we can choose to do here, and that's slideshow. So in order to do slideshow, what you're going to need to do is find more than one image you'd like. So let's say this image from Jurassic World, we're going to save image as. We're going to put it into 
the same folder that we put the other image in, Dinosaur Images, and yeah, that's a good enough title for it. Hit save. And let's pick this image of Velociraptor. And we'll also save that to the same folder. Now, if we click Browse, we can click Dinosaur Images and hit Choose This Folder. What this is going to do is it's going to go through those images we have inside that folder. The lowest limit you can set right now, though, is only a minute, or you can have it be a day, so it changes every day, every six hours, whatever. I'm just going to choose a minute so it'll go by faster. And you can put them on shuffle mode so it'll randomly go through the different images. But those are basically all the options you have for your desktop screensaver. And like I said, you can choose any images you want or however many you want to put inside that folder, have it switch through.